Welcome to the Mission History Nights YouTube channel. This video is about my father. He left school at the age of 14 in 1936 and had two jobs within fairly quick succession. About 10 years ago, when he was in his 80s, I recorded a chat with him about his first two jobs and what follows are him telling those stories of those times. This photograph of him, he's on the left, was taken in the, the following year, so this is when he was 15. He started work at Standard Upholstery in Lewis Road, but then was offered more money to work as a van boy for Renshaw's, the almond factory in Locks Lane. Bear in mind that there's an occasional swearing, but that was just, you know, the way he talked. If you liked the video, please press the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and make comments. When you left school, you went on to Renshaw's as a van boy. Is that right? Uh, no, I went to the um, upholstery first. Oh, with uh, Frank? Stand up upholstery, yeah. With... See, Granny said, don't start work without Frankie. So we went all the way the way round. And um, that was the only place there. I only wanted one. I said, no, but, no. I said, but we, we're together. I said, but, 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 but. I said, my cousin, I said, he's always been with me. All right, I said, yeah. Well, anyway, it was uh, 11 shillings a week. Yeah? And I think they stopped your timbers out of that. Was there. Well, I was there a couple of months, and they made me cast a boy for um, another half a crown a week. That was all right. And Georgie, see, he never thought much of Frank. He thought fucking Frank. He was, well, Frank was model coddled, and he wouldn't do anything there. The job going at Rachel's was eighteen shillings, a, a, a fourteen shillings a week. Right. Of course, he got me the job there. Left Frankie. Frank crying his eyes out because I'm fucking left on out there. And he stayed there all his life. Yeah. Frank, in this part, Dad talks about the time he was a van boy at Renshaw's, delivering products they'd made and picking up almonds from the docks and so forth. Uh, the, the, the lorry we had was a de Dennis. A Dennis? A Dennis, yeah, yeah. And it was, uh, Albert Nguyen was the van driver. Yeah. But uh, we, was, we only got paid... But hourly, overtime hourly, you never got no half hours or quarter hours, right? So sometimes we come in, we best we had North London. There's so many fucking tickets going to North London there, all around Finsbury and all that around there. Sometimes we, someone, sometimes um, we we were at the Chigwell. You know? We might come in at quarter to eight, and I wait till fucking eight o'clock, clock all out, like you know. You went to the docks. The dock. Docks, oh yeah. Fucking aggravation that was the docks. Fucking time you wait. See, the, the dockers would never take anything, only free fruit bit parcels, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Like pre little cases where they wouldn't take them more than that, yeah. Uh, that's where we was at, at what being, I can't think of that pub, but I remember going to that pub there, and then you went up a couple of steps. Towards the bowl, like you know, I went over half pint of beer and he'd have a he'd have a shandy. That was a day's work. They were ducks down there. So we, we we used to deliver stuff there and also pick up. What we used to pick up was cup cases. You know, what they used there, and the box stands about that way, square there. They'd only come out with three of them all the time. I mean, you could put a fucking dozen of them on there. Yeah. yeah. And the police was always inspecting you. Yeah, yeah. Fucking horrible job that was. Is it? I used to turn it out. Where you get all the fumes and the fucking motors and everything else, like, you know. 